their life in response to things that aren't real that other people are posting. Yeah. So they're actually just reacting to illusions. Um, five a day translates into five days. My phone is my life. And in this day and age, I think it's everyone's life. But over the past few years, I've been very concerned with how much time I'm spending on my phone and how much time I'm going to be spending on my phone in the future. Especially with doing YouTube and general day-to-day -day stuff always being easily accessible on my phone and stuff. I'm constantly on my phone. Um, social media, texting, emailing, um, searching up what a word means it's so accessible my phone has the answers for everything you're told by health professionals five a day for fruit and veg so i just translated that in my head to five a day for fruit and veg it's in term it tries to make you more healthy um and what this is going to try and do is make me more mentally healthy because social media is not what it was meant to be um there's a lot of stuff about social approval with all the likes and comments and you're waiting for people to like your pictures and you're waiting for people to comment it's social approval and i think i've i can say i've been sucked into that and i want to distance myself so i watch a youtube channel called yes theory and one of the guys in yes theory called um thomas did this challenge for 30 days and I had this idea to do this video previously because when screen time was introduced into iPhone I checked my spend, uh, my phone habits every week um, and to start off with it was fine it was like an hour a day an hour and a half a day but then I realized I was getting more and more addicted oh. Thomas went 30 days without social media. Um, I won't be able to do 30 days. I was going to do a week originally. I don't think I'd last a week. So I'm going to take it to five, hence the five a day. Um, so I'm going to do this intro bit. So I'm going to delete my apps. And I am going to do this for five days. Um, so yeah, I'm, a, I'm definitely nervous because I know I'm going to struggle a lot because... Again, I spend a lot of time on my phone, but I wanted to do this video, so I introduced what I'm going to do, and I'm going to show you deleting my apps, um, wherever my phone is. <laughs> Brilliant. Found it. So, the socials I am deciding to leave are YouTube, because i got an essay to write and I need to watch some videos, um, and that's not social media, because I don't comment um, and interact, I just watch videos, so I'm keeping that. Um, I'm keeping basic text message. I'm not allowed to use FaceTime. Um, keep it to basic text message. And I'm gonna keep WhatsApp because my family's on WhatsApp and they panic. Okay, so I'm keeping my text messages, my WhatsApp, I'm gonna keep my face, uh, not keep my FaceTime. Um, I'm gonna keep my emailing because I've got stuff to sort out with the uni. Um, so what I'm gonna go ahead and do is, maybe it might be better if I press the little jiggle button and then kind of flip over. Before I delete the apps, um, I needed to show you this because this is what really spurred me to do this video. So I'm going to go into screen time, and then I'm going to go to my iPhone, and then I'm going to go into the last seven days. Um, yeah. Average daily, five and a half hours. Five hours, 26 minutes. Twitter, five and a half hours a day. No, most use five hours and a half for two uh, over the week, Instagram five hours, Faro two hours, Snapchat two hours, Facebook two hours, Maps an hour and 54 minutes, but that's what I had to drive back from Sheffield. Weekly total, 38 hours and six minutes. I think the week before was 45 hours. So if that doesn't scream addicted or Rochelle, you need some help. I don't know what does. Um, so we're gonna. I hopefully, hopefully, I remember all my passwords: Twitter, Instagram, Snapchat, Facebook, Messenger, 
and I'm keeping Spotify because I need to listen to music. And that is oops, all my social medias. That's blank page. So I'm not hiding anything. Yeah. So yeah, there we go. The five days started this morning at 9.30. So Wednesday the 10th at 9am um, till Sunday. Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, Saturday, Sunday. Five days, Sunday, 9am. Um, let the challenge begin. Hello, okay, so, um, update on day one. Um, it's like, give me a second, I don't even know what time it is. Uh, oh, my phone's in my pocket. Um, it is 7.06, um, and today has been weird because I've, reached for my phone several times. I'm gonna give you the exact like times and stuff for today. So so far today my phone has been used for it's just updating. Um one and a half hours. I've only used my phone for one and a half hours and that has been for YouTube for 42 minutes. That's because I watched a few videos. Um WhatsApp checking my mail. And then like general pickups. I don't know how many pick general on general I picked it up six times an hour, uh, 76 times overall today so far, which is in comparison to last week on average, um, over the last seven days, I've picked it up 155 times a day. So, over half reduction, um, um, up to that, I've reached for my phone several times today. Um, it's not really, I've just been on it and then put it back down, then realized, um, I've tried to like. I've been on it as if to go on Instagram or Snapchat or something, and then realised I don't have it, and then just turn it off and put it back down. Um, my phone's been away from me a lot, like it's been in my room and I've been in the kitchen and living room most of the day. And then I went to my parents' um, shop, so I've been there for three hours-ish, two, three hours, or two and a half. Um, so that ate up some time. Um, so yeah, I've not really missed it. Like, I picked, I reached for it and I wanted to have it, but... I've not been thinking about it that much, like, the unconscious picking up of my phone, like I normally do, to check and then just like mindlessly scroll, I've tried to do that, but then I've realised I don't have it there to put it back. I've not missed it, as like I said, um, but I think that's just because it's day one and it's new to me. Um, this was really weird because it feels like I shouldn't be in this state of mind anyway, because my phone shouldn't be this important, um, but I think after tomorrow and sat. So Friday and then Saturday, I can't. I kind of will be like, I need something to do my um, time down, um, downtime, not town time down, downtime. But so far today, it's been good, um, and I'm managing. Um, I'm not managing. I'm doing well. I'm gonna try and like mix it up with updates and showing you what I'm doing instead of being on my phone um, to kind of give you like a gauge of what I do in my day as substitute or. There's things I want to do, like read a bit more, um, go out and go on walks and go on runs. So hopefully, and wake up early. Waking up early is my major thing. Um, so hopefully my phone allows me to do that. So when I wake up, I don't check my phone straight away. Because I tend to, that tends to be the first thing I do in the morning and the last thing I do at night. And cutting that out will hopefully let me get to bed earlier and help me get to bed, wake up earlier. Um, bed, Go to bed earlier and wake up earlier. Um, in terms of waking up, in terms of going to bed earlier, the blue light reduction should help me fall asleep more easily. Um, any psychologists out there will know what I'm on about. Um, but yeah, so far so good. Good morning to day four, which is actually day three because I counted Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, Saturday, Sunday, but then I forgot that you had to use the whole of Sunday as a day. So now this challenge will be finishing on Monday at 9am, um, so correction on all the previous matches on Sunday at 9am, that's only 4 days, so it'll be Monday 9am, that'll make it 5 days. Um, it is Saturday, um, I'm off on a walk with Anna, um, slash brisk walk, um, we get our sweat on, because I need to lose some weight before this ball, otherwise I'm gonna be looking like a ball. Um, so far. Social media has not been missed. Um, I've been busy looking at hotels and things in New York, um, so that's been preoccup that's been preoccupying my time for the past two days. Uh, so yeah, today's a bit busier. Today, 
we haven't really been doing much, I haven't really been doing much the past few days, helping out my mum and dad's shop, um, doing some reading, doing some uni work, planning. So today I need to film a YouTube video for uni, today I need to edit that video, and then I need to see Anna um, and go on a walk and lose some weight because I'm a fat mess. Um, and then later, chill, maybe do some uni work for once actually. I've not been doing any work since my dissertation deadline, so there's a lot to catch up on. Um, I don't know if it's focusing or not, but me and Anna were meant to go on a walk, but I think we're doing that later. Guess where we are? <laughs> we're in a lake, not clickbait. <laughs> We decided to get a canoe and oh my god the rock of the boat shaking. This is a good thumbnail. Five days of that social media. Feeling one with nature. <gasps> oh my god, Anna's rocking the boat. Hold on, let me just finish this vlog segment. We're out here on a boat in a lake, not like bay. Having a fun time, Anna doing all the work, me chillaxing and relaxing. Let's get some nice shots. So we finished our kayak. Kayak? Can you? Same thing. All water sport. <laughs> we nearly drowned because the rapids came. Um, we nearly got hit by a sailboat. Yeah, that's <laughs> that happened. And now we're like, sitting on a bench and being all healthy and taking in nature. Now we're doing a walk. We're going to go on a walk. We did a bit of walk. Not very far. We're going to do a little bit more walk. And then go for food. I don't use them every day. I don't use Facebook very much anymore. But I think Instagram has become increasingly popular with younger people. Do you spend a lot of time on Instagram? Yeah, I'd say I spend most of my time on Instagram. Um, Out of all of them? Yeah. Uh, and I think that the problem with social media like Instagram is that people react to things and people live their life in response to things that aren't real that other people are posting yeah so they're actually just reacting to illusions um, and not everything that you see on social media is actually true it's not real so what do you think about like me doing this like you knowing what i'm like do you think i've i'll i've, I've found it difficult I think it's really good that you are giving yourself some time to actually distance yourself from things that are like upsetting you or making you question yourself, your own values, like your appearance, just like everything. Because, um, I, but I would say you're probably finding it easier than you thought you would. Yeah. Um, and you're probably realising it's really refreshing. Do one. Would you do a I would media consider class? doing it, yeah. Um, the difficulty is because social media is like a good thing in the sense that it allows people to communicate with each other. So I think you have to kind of distinguish between social media in terms of like posting things online or like advertising and marketing and social media like contacting people um, like your friends or whatever so yeah I would consider doing it I would consider logging out of social media accounts I would want to stay in contact with people um, via text or messaging services I think still hello it is Monday um, and I have finished the five-day social media cleanse this morning at about 11. I downloaded all my socials again and just had a quick, a quick scroll through. Um, it's 12.07. I've tried to keep my time on it as limited as possible because I know that's my biggest issue, spending too much time on it. Um, so I put my phone away. It's over there. Um, as in next to me because I need to read something off my notes for this video. Um, and I've got my laptop out and I've got my notepad out because I made some notes over the five days on things I wanted to kind of do um, to sum it up. So I've done it. Um, first of all, it was easy. Um, very easy. But 
researching more when I was doing my cha my cleanse um, challenge. Not really a challenge. A lot of people tend to do 30 day challenges. So I kind of took the mic a bit. So what I'm going to do is I will probably do this again. Um, because I found it really helpful. So what did I get up to in these five days? So basically I deleted everything. Um, it felt weird to start off with. I was I kept reaching for my phone and then realising that I didn't have anything so I put my phone back. I did spend a lot of time on my phone but that was because I was on YouTube listening to audiobooks. Um, and for those of you who know me, um, I struggle to read. I'm not dyslexic or anything. I just find it really hard to um, read books because I read really slowly. Um, and because of audiobooks I've recently read a lot more than I used to. Um, so I started reading The Bell Jar on Thursday and I am five chapters away from the end. And normally it takes me over a month to read a book and I've nearly done it, nearly finished it in five, six days a week nearly. I'm going to plan on finishing it today. Um, so I've been reading books, reading a book, um, I didn't want to overcomplicate it. Um, reading book, reading a book. Um, I've been doing some uni work, um, writing out a lot of thoughts on what I've been thinking and stuff like that. Um, I went out into nature with Anna, um, that's a rarity. Um, I've been eating a bit better. Um, I've not felt upset or anything, like not worrying about anything and I think that's the biggest thing because social media is literally full of things that you want to compare your lives to. Um, and it constantly puts you in a bad mood um, and makes you feel bad about yourself. Not having that, I felt really good um, and I think that's because the sun is also out recently um, and it's warm and it's a nice temperature. So I'm in a good mood. I've not felt sad or anything which is really positive for me. Um, because social media was really damaging me and making me feel really awful. Hence why I'm in a gym t-shirt because I need to go on a run. Um, with exam season approaching, uh, I think this challenge will probably come in handy again. Um, I'll probably delete everything again and do this while I'm revising and do my exams. Um, the past few days I planned and recorded a YouTube video for uni. Um, so that took up like two days. Um, I've been looking at holidays. I've just been doing stuff that I meaning to be meaning to do on my to do list um, which I keep putting off all the time because I'm always on my phone then I'm like oh I've run out of time because I've spent six hours scrolling through Instagram liking about a million pictures um, and this morning I didn't feel good after I checked everything I was just like oh is that it like I'm bored already and I think because social media is so like instant like and it's instant grat gratification it's quick relief and now I'm bored um, and now I'm tempted to just delete all of it again and do it again because it was just a nice checkup. so what I have learned from this is that it doesn't it's not amazing like social media is great for like communicating but I've been able to do that over text with people um, and it's been exactly the same so moving forward um, as I said at the beginning of this um, segment I did a seven, seven day, I did a five challenge, not even seven day, wow, that's bad. I did a five day challenge and you're normally meant to be doing 30 day challenges. I did a little snippet to see what it was like, let's go with that. Um, so what I'm going to do is, I'm going to challenge myself, the next time I do this, to do for seven days. And then the next time I'm going to do it, I'm going to go for the full on 30 days. And then... I most probably won't vlog the 30 days because that's a month of vlog content for me to edit and I can't, that's stressful. But yeah, the thing I want to kind of implement um, straight away is time limits um, on my phone. I'm going to go to screen, ta screen time screen time, and I'm going to set, I think, half an hour, 20 minutes to 30 minutes a day per app. Um, that's still quite a lot. Um, hmm. I might set it to 20 minutes. Um, 20 minutes a day per app, um, social media. Messenger isn't really fussed because that's not social media, it's just messaging. And I kind of need that now. Um, but I'm going to limit my usage. Um, and use text as much as I can because 
I still count Facebook me Facebook Messenger as Facebook because it's part of Facebook. So so I kind of wanted to end off by end off by this end off this video by giving um you guys whoever's watching the challenge of trying to do this. Um, I'd recommend maybe a five day challenge um, to start off with or a seven day challenge. Um, looking back at it now, I think I could have done a thirty day challenge. In all honesty, I could have done it easily. E no, that's a lie. I could have done it. I could have easily done it, but I wouldn't have found it easy. There was a TED talk that I listened to a couple of days ago about social media and mental health. Um, and the lady in it said, highlights on your Instagram, your highlights are your highlights for a reason. They highlight the best parts of your life. The highlight reel isn't real life. Um, if you want to listen to that TED talk, I will link it down below. I'm not sponsored. Um, so yeah, that is it for this video. Thank you very much for watching. I hope you have enjoyed it. I shall see you guys in my next video. Oh, that was a bad angle. <laughs> I don't think I got it. So me and I just Can finished our... <laughs> and I just burped. <laughs> And on that lovely ending, I'm off to the pub.